Hi folks, we're going to do a little tutorial here on how to get a GPS coordinate of your drone's location within the DJI GO app. In particular, we're going to look at this in the context of search and rescue. So we're nearly centered over our target here, not quite in case we have some sort of critical malfunction and the drone falls out of the sky. We don't want it to fall on our subject. We're going to take a photo. Once we take that photo, we're going to move even farther away from our subject because the next step is to actually leave our live, view, live feed view of the DJI GO app here. So we're going to open up DJI's photos. We have our photo of our subject and the lo location we want the coordinate. But right now, we haven't actually downloaded it to our local device yet. So we're going to touch this download button. Once it's downloaded, we have that green check mark and we have the full location information, which includes the GPS location that that photo was taken at. We can exit out of that. We get one last look of our live feed. We're well away from our subject in case we have a failure because now we're going to exit DJI's Go app altogether. And Depending on your device, this could lead to a app crash. So you could lose all your telemetry during this process. Do test this before you have to use it on an actual mission. Enter into any sort of third party photo program. I'm using Google Photo here. Find your DJI album, which should have the photo you just downloaded. When we open that up, Now we have the coordinate given to us and we can relay that to any teams we want to direct to the subject. And because we're online, this is a cell phone and we have cell reception, we actually get the full Google map and we can open up that in Google Maps if we want. But the most important thing is just having that coordinate right there. We're going to go back to GJI Go now. Our subject is still there, they haven't moved off, that's a good thing. Now, we may need to fly away from our subject and do a battery change. The home point has been updated, please check it on the map. We can't actually use that coordinate we just got out of the Google Photos to direct the drone's trajectory. So instead what we're gonna do is once again go about over the subject and we're going to use DJI GO's waypoint system. To take a waypoint right over the subject. Let's zoom way in on that map. first waypoint will be where our subject is. Now we can head to wherever we need to for that battery change out. During the battery change out you're going to turn off the drone but do not turn off your DJI GO app. Keep that and your controller on during this whole process. It'll make starting back up easier. We get a second point. Once you're done changing out the battery, start the drone back up, get it back up into the air. We're gonna record, hit done before we actually turn off the drone. That should be saved now. When we hit apply, the drone is automatically gonna fly back to waypoint one where our subject was when we left him. Once we're there, the drone's gonna turn around and try to go straight to waypoint two. We don't want that to happen. So go ahead, hit pause and stop. 
exit that waypoint mission. And once again, we're right back where we left our subject. There you go. I hope that's helpful, particularly to the search and rescue community.